Hello everyone and welcome to this Geometry Nodes tutorial. I didn't want to spend time on modeling the rock and the grass, so I just downloaded them with the Blender kit add-on, and you don't necessarily have to use a rock because it should work on every object. So let's get started. Go to the Geometry Nodes editor or just edit into your layout. And once you are there, add a new Geometry Node 3 and first off, we want to instance the grass on the rock and in order to do that, we will use the Instance on Points node. So add the grass into the Geometry Node editor and plug it into the Instance on Points node. As you can see, we can't see anymore the rock. And to fix this problem, we will just use a Join Geometry node. So plug the Join Geometry into the group output and the instances into the geometry socket. Now we are able to see the rock and the grass, but we don't want to see them together all the time. We want to make that growing effect and to do that we will add an empty and we will use it as a controller. So basically what we are going to do now is that we are going to give Blender a threshold that will indicate it when we want to see the grass. And we will take as parameters the empty scale and its location. Let's start with the scale, add a math node, and then add a compare node and set it to less than, and then plug the math node into the second value of your compare node. Now we are going to add the location as a parameter and we will use a vector math node and we will set it to distance. Now we need to give the position, so add a position node and then plug the distance into the first value of your compare node. Now we are going to use the selection socket to tell Blender which point it has to use to instance the grass. We can use the math node to control the threshold. I suggest to set it to subtract. Once you're happy with the value, you can play around a little bit with the empty just to see if the animation works correctly. It seems like it does. So now let's make things more interesting. Let's add a little bit of noise so that when the grass appears it's not like a kind of boring block of grass. So add a noise texture and then add a mix node. Okay, plug the noise texture into the second socket, the position into the first one and then the mix into the distance. Now set the mix node to linear light. And as you can see, it's uh, more interesting and maybe even smoother. Okay, so let's make some space. And now we are going to play with the scale of the instances. And how are we going to do that? We are going to do that by using some more math nodes. So you can duplicate the subtract and set one of them to multiply, then plug into the first value the scale socket. And now let's add a map range node. Basically, we are going to make a sort of a gradient for the scale of the instances. And so plug the map range into the scale value and then plug the distance value into the map range value. Now use the two math nodes we just added and tweak the values. Thank you. 
let me zoom in so you can see better what is going on okay it seems like we have to okay it seems like it's working better as you can see there's a sort of gradient uh, into the scale of our instances but what we need to do now is to fix their rotation because as you can see they are not uh, aligned to the normal of our rock so in order to do that we will use the align euler to vector and then we will set the vector as normal so you can add a normal node and then the rotation is the value of our distance node okay so now let's plug it into the rotation and as you can see now it's working correctly the animation itself is kind of finished here but i don't really like this uh, sudden apparition uh, so i want to play with the set position node and the offset of that instance because i want it to be like it's growing from the rock and not uh, uh, appearing on it suddenly so add the two vector math node set the first one to subtract and the second one to multiply then in the first value of the multiply plug the position and in the second vector a math node set to add as you can see now it moved our instance so we need to fix this and in order to fix this we will use the object info node so basically we are using the empty and into the geometry socket uh, we will plug the geometry proximity and now we will plug the distance into the first value of our add node as you can see now you're able to move your instances so basically we are kind of faking the growing effect because the grass appears but by moving it on its offset you can hide it under the rock surface and so it seems like it's growing from it now you can play with the values and find the, the solution that works better for you and once you're happy with the result what you just need to do is to add the two keyframes on the empty scale and then the animation is ready i hope you enjoyed this tutorial subscribe like and share to your friends and see you to the next tutorial.